Morning happy people, this is Gavin from Gavin's Biltom. Got a nice big chunk of silver side meat here, which we're going to make into chili bites. Uh, you can make stockies or chili bites, basically it's a much thinner, thinner bit of meat and it dries a little bit quicker and a little bit it dries out a bit more. Um, a stocky is just a plain one and a chili bite, we add, add the chili to it. This I'm going to make some something to Biltong, which is in a different video. and. This video is going to be about making the chili bites today. We cut it up, we slice it, we spice it up, we mix it around, we put it in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow we would hang it up and three or four days, pro probably more like three days later, it is then ready. Okay, so let's get cutting. So back onto stockies and chili bites. I've, I've got two, two tops that we chopped off the some silver sides to make it worthwhile. I've got another one as well. And we have to clean this one up, clean these up, strip, cut them down into thin strips to make the chili bites and stockies. And then we mix up all the spices, spice it all up, and then it would marinate overnight or two days or three, three days um, before hanging it up. So let's start here. All these little bits of sinews we, we take off. On this side there's quite a quite a big sinew going through. So we take that off there and then we would come in here and take off the other part of it. It's still still running through there. It just, if you don't take it off, it makes it fairly tough. All, everything we, we, we chop off, we, we reuse in our, to make, when we make our borobos. So we don't lose anything. And these long pieces, like short pieces, we turn into long by, by doing that butterfly sort of thing. A bit more sinews there. That's fat. Right, that one's ready. This one, chop a piece, piece more out. Okay, so now we've trimmed them all up. Now we've got to cut them into thin strips, like eight mil, eight millimeter, six to eight millimeter, thereabouts is, is ideal. So we just take a nice long cut through there and just keep going with it. Got a bit thick on the end, so we we butterfly the end out a little bit. And we just keep going, cutting long thin strips like that. It got a bit thick on the end again. So we butterfly that. You will see I'm not using gloves. You cannot use gloves when you're cutting meat. It's very, very difficult to, to do it properly and your knife can slip and all sorts. So we don't use gloves when we're cutting meat. Okay, so now that they're all cut, you can see they're all nice long, long thin strips. And that's, that's really what a stocky is all about. It makes it dry a lot quicker and it goes a bit harder as well. So it's, it's, it's a little bit harder, harder built on. So now we've got to make up a, a spice mix and then make, do all that mixing. So we've got all the meat now into a container and we have got a special liquid, which is made up of vinegar, balsamic, soy sauce, and Worcester sauce, one part of each. So basically, I, I, I make up a big five litre container at a time. So I'll put a quarter of a litre of each of those four. I will put a recipe in the description as well. Um, and we now mix all of the meat in with this, which gives it a really nice flavour, totally different flavour to normal biltong. I just pour it on. It's mixed by hand. Put a lid on. Mix it up. 
and add. And that's it, that's ready now to, to be spiced up. So, so now for the spice mix, we're going to use what's called the Namibian spice mix. It originates from Namibia in Africa. It's a really fail safe mix. You use it for biltong, you use it for anything. So stockies and chili bites are basically the same as I said before. One, you just add some chili powder and the stockies is, is plain without. We're gonna make it with chili powder today because I really like my, my chili bites. So it's comprised of salt, pepper, ground coriander. I get coriander seed, I fry it up a bit until it starts smoking, but aroma comes, starts coming out, and then I put it through my coffee grinder. Sugar, chili powder, well, about one teaspoon per, per kilo of meat. But it depends on, on the strength of it as well. And then I also use potassium sorbate, which is a, an anti-mold inhibitor. It's a mold inhibitor for just to protect a little bit from mold. Because we run a, a commercial business, we've got to have a good shelf life. So it's all funneled into the, the, the bottle. These bottles are really nice for mixing. So, mixing's done, we can put our containers away. Bring out our meat. Now, unlike Bolton, the st stockies and, ch and chili bites, not easy to lay out and layer and, and spice. So, I just take some away. Put some spice, put some more spice, mix it a bit by hand. Put some more spice. Mix it around a bit more. Sorry, my. So all the spice is finished. Scrape around in the bottom. When I make big batches, I got a big 50 litre tub, which I got a big lid on, a screw lid. I fill it all up, I put everything in, and then I roll it on the kitchen tabletop, up, backwards and forwards to mix. But that is how you make stockies and chili bites. You then close it up into the fridge for a day, overnight, two days, three days. Three days is, is brilliant because it really, all the meat gets, gets the, absorbs all the, all the spices. You can add chutney in, you can do garlic, you can do whatever flavor you want. You just chop and change around to, to suit. So this is now going in the fridge, probably for two days, and then we will, we will hang it up.